my friends, I am Marietta and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Show. This is the fourth and last video of the contest to win the art piece giveaway. I will be announcing the winner next week in the fifth video of this series. It's not too late for you to take part in the giveaway. All you have to do is to follow the instructions I gave in the last three videos and you'll be in the running. Today, I'll discuss art commissions, tips to overcome fear that hold you back from purchasing a piece of art you really want. If you've missed the first three videos, I place the links in the description below labeled video one, two, and three giveaway. Be sure to watch this video to the end as you won't want to miss today's directions to win the original resin art piece. If you're new to my show, I thank you for watching and appreciate you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get notified each time I post a new video every Thursday. Let's continue with my story. Art commission may be a scary word for some. The first thought that may cross your mind is that it will be expensive and that you can't afford it. Perhaps you're concerned that it won't turn out how you expect or it won't be completed in a timely manner. So what is a commission? It's simply a custom, one-of-a-kind art piece designed for a client by an artist. Placing a commission with an artist can be a really daunting process. After all, you are agreeing to purchase something you haven't seen, so much so that many clients shy away from the process. Whether you have specific requirements for a piece or simply know you'd like to have just the right feel in your home, room, or whatever space, but need guidance as to the colors, size, design, and the mood you want to portray. Commissioning a piece of art, especially for your space, can be a very rewarding, worthwhile, and exciting experience. An artist who is used to producing commissions will take the fear factor out of the process for you by making sure they understand what you are expecting before work on the piece commences. The key to success from the client and artist's perspective is clear communication. Each time I choose a topic for my videos, I take time to research the subject so I am versed in its depth, interest, and how others' viewpoint has commonality or differs from mine. This way, I can create an interesting story you can relate to, which gives you food for thought and inspires conversations with you. In this case, I found that there are misconceptions and fear surrounding the idea of commissions. And fear seems to be a common factor from both ends, the artist and the client. So I decided to eliminate and resolve the fear you may feel about commissioning an artist by giving you my own take on the subject from personal experience and a lifetime of creating artwork for my clients. The principle I live by with my art commissions is the same one as the one I exercise in my dental practice. Inform before you perform. By informing a client as to the options, choices, and realistic expectations, the chances of success in bringing joy and satisfaction for both of us enjoying the creative process becomes a no-brainer. I am honored to be asked to create a commission and my goal is to enjoy the process just as much as the client. It's a joint, extraordinary venture that we both share. With that said, certain steps must be followed in order to accomplish the relational interaction and successful outcome. It's about marrying the art business with a trusting relationship. Each kind of artwork will require a different set of questions and conversations. So I'll focus our discussion on resin art, which in itself is a broad topic. I organize my conversations with my clients with the following 10 subjects. 1. Price. Perhaps the most uncomfortable subject to cover. I don't like to waste either one's time by coming to the end of the presentation and realizing that we are on the wrong page. In fact, on a totally different page. This is a very basic discussion of price ranges and what my client is expecting or willing to spend. Once this hurdle is behind us, it's much easier to move forward and I can guide my client in the proper direction. 
that burden of not knowing the cost until the end is lifted, which allows a much more relational and comfortable conversation to take place. It also allows me to make suggestions along the way, which will affect the price, which places the client in the driver's seat. Two, size, which goes along with the price point and specific embellishments placed into the piece, which affect the price. Three, embellishments, which include any materials that I place into the resin, creating texture and design, such as semi-precious stones, geodes, types of glass, shells, and so on. These specific elements will impact the feel of the piece as well as the cost. Four, location in the client's home. Will this piece of art become a showpiece and become the heart of the home? Or is it an accent piece that will be placed in an intimate setting requiring a special touch? Five, the message and emotion the piece brings to the space. In other words, how the client's personal taste and personality reflects in the choices made. That in itself is a deep subject I may discuss at another time. Six, should the art piece stand out or blend in with the rest of the decor and existing artwork? This will affect the color scheme, embellishments, and design that I create. Number seven, what is or are the client's favorite colors and whether they will be utilized in the commission piece. We will discuss the importance and the science behind choosing various colors, which affects the mood of the space and stimulates an emotional response, one you may not be aware of. Number eight, design of the piece itself. We will walk through examples of my artwork of similar style to what my client would like and carefully examine details they like and don't care for. Many people don't know exactly what they want, but know well what they don't want. By the way, if you're getting value from my discussion, please push the like button. Number nine, clear photographs of the existing spaces, including furniture in the room and other existing artwork. My duty and job as the artist is to listen intently and come to know my client and their taste in art. Make suggestions along the way to guide the client in a helpful direction if they are stuck and unsure how to make a decision. Number 10, timeline from start to completion. Once I fully understand the scope of the commission, I am able to give the client a ballpark timeline by when they will be receiving the art piece. I mostly under-promise and over-deliver. I feel a great responsibility to please my client, not only by the beauty and creativity of their piece, their satisfaction and joy when they receive it and place it in its dedicated place, but also to complete the piece in a timely manner, keeping the enthusiasm on both sides alive. Once we come to the agreement with price, size, design, embellishment, and all the above, I discuss the payment options and how I communicate my progress. Both are established on an individual basis that reflects the timeline and the size and design of the piece. When possible, in resin art, I can send small samples of the color combinations to make sure we are on the right page if there is any question. I must admit I am not asked to do so often as our communication beforehand is so extensive and comprehensive. By the time I begin to create the commission piece, we both feel super comfortable with each other. A trust factor develops through the process of clear and authentic communication. This takes time, which is so critical and essential in this process. My client also understands that I'm allowed the freedom to create a unique, one-of-a-kind piece and that I will place my own inspiration and imagination into the process. Whenever possible, I may send them a photograph of the process as it unfolds. With resin art, it is not always possible due to the intense amount of uninterrupted time it takes to create the piece, as well as the manner in which the resin design changes over the course of hours that's unpredictable. This is the magic of resin art. It will flow at its own pace, 
uncontrolled, and absolutely stunning. I hope this helps you with making a decision to hire an artist in order to create a commission for you. In my experience, it's truly the most rewarding and exciting part of being an artist. I personally have always had the most wonderful and joyful experiences with my clients from their side as well. There is no reason to fear doing so. Having said that, make sure you work with an established artist, their style reflects your taste, and feel comfortable with your communication beforehand. You are forming a special relationship based on mutual respect and trust. Make sure to stay tuned for my last and fourth question in the art giveaway. Also, enjoy the reaction of my recent clients who unveil their commission. It's truly priceless. I want to give you perspective and show you the size and the beauty of this piece. So it's a 36 by 48 and it's actually the largest resin art piece I have made so far, but I plan on making a whole lot more from now on. I truly enjoyed making this and I love the colors. They were actually picked by the couple who have commissioned me to do this piece, but they're also my favorite colors. So that was pretty easy for me to love it and to really put everything into it that I had. I added a lot of texture with glass, reflective glass, and also really large chunks of glass that looked like opal. I added special opalescent material in the back to really have them shine. As well as I added texture by adding resin to uncured resin, which gives it that beauty of the three-dimensional nature of this. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I cannot wait to introduce the couple to you, which will be shortly. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait for their reaction. Well, finally, Janice and Floyd are here and I'm so excited to introduce you to them. Unfortunately, we have to do the COVID thing. And so I'm here by myself talking to you and then I'll have them come on and we'll do the unveiling, which I'm so excited about and I hope it's what I wanted to be. <laughs> well, we are We're excited. very excited. We have been on pins and needles waiting to see this beautiful piece that Marietta has made for us and created and today we're going to unveil it and I just I, I can hardly wait so let's do so the let's, unveil. let's do let's do the unveil. you go over there now <laughs> okay so here we go drum roll, we've never drum seen roll, them roll. okay oh my gosh whoa Marietta oh my gosh this is absolutely perfect uh, for our spot uh, Oh, we wait. have a spot at the fireplace that <gasps> needs something, and this is absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. The colors. I love um, the colors. And the this throughout the, the greens and the blues and the silvers and all of these rocks and jewels. This is going to be like the centerpiece. This is going to be absolutely perfect. This is going to be absolutely perfect for our fireplace. We've always needed something on that wall. Mm -hmm. not knowing what to put on there. And we just said to Marietta, do what you do, and this is absolutely perfect. Well, we've known Marietta for a few years since we moved down to Bend, and she's become a wonderful friend. And we've seen her scratchboard art and her oils, which are just out of this world. And then she showed us recently her um, resin art, and we both said, this is something that we need in our home. So I'm, we talked I'm excited. to her about it. I'm excited to put this on the wall. Oh, I'm I, I just think this, this is going to make our living and dining room area. This will make whole, it pop. Yeah, it'll make and it pop. This is the finishing touch that our wall needs. It is. Yeah. Our whole house. This will yep. this will be it. I mean, this is amazing. I love it. Um, Marietta, this is far more than I ever expected. Your pieces are all exceptional. But this is like out of this world. It's just going to... We're going to look at it every day, and it's just going to be amazing. This is special. Yeah, very this is special. Very special. We we can't thank you enough. I love you guys. Well, we love you. <laughs> Janice and Floyd, thank you so much. I so appreciate you, and I'm so thrilled that you loved it so much. And in fact, I love the colors so much. I'm going to make one for this wall here, and I can't wait to do this again for me. So thank you.
I hope you enjoyed watching my artwork unfold and gain a new perspective and insight as to commissioned artwork. It's time for the giveaway question. The question is, when it comes to purchasing a piece of art that reflects your personal taste and adds joy and beauty to your home, have you commissioned a piece of art? And if so, what was your experience? If not, would you consider giving a commission a try in the future? Remember to sign up on my email list with your first and last name by clicking on my website in the description below. Only those of you who have signed up will be eligible to win. Please give me your answer in the comment section below. Remember, in order to be in the running to win the original resin art piece, you must answer this question. I'm looking forward to promoting conversation with you and can't wait to hear what you have to say. I'm super interested in what kinds of experiences you've encountered in the commission process. If you haven't ventured to commission an artist, what are the reasons that held you back from making this step? The more I understand you and your concerns, the better I can serve you and your needs, if you so desire. I'm looking forward to reading your answers and conversations and having a dialogue with you. I am so excited to unveil the winner in my next video and I thank you so much for taking part in this. So for now, happy arting, bazo jinkuye, thank you so much for watching, until the next time.